Hi, my name's Liz and I'm an artist educator here at Maitland Regional Art Gallery. Today we're in an exhibition by Ildiko Kovacs that is celebrating her works that are in the Maitland Regional Art Gallery collection. Here behind me we have a work that's called Wheels in Motion and that's what we're going to be taking our inspiration from in our art making session today. Ildiko Kovacs is a renowned abstract Australian artist and her works are a celebration of line and colour. They really emanate a sense of movement. She uses a roller and oil paint and her body to create these amazing big lines. You can see that there is a depth of colour in this work and it's really bright and vibrant. So today I'm going to run you through an art making session that you can do at home, inspired by Wheels in Motion. Most of the items you should be able to find around your house. We're going to be using ink, but if you don't have any ink at home, you can just use food colouring. I've got some string here, jazz kitchen twine, some scissors and just some takeaway containers, as well as some paper. So before we start, make sure that you have plenty of space around you, that your table is clear and that you can make a bit of a mess. So we're using ink today, which can get a bit drippy. So you might like to put some paper down. So I'm just gonna fill the containers up with a little bit of water and then add my ink. So the more ink you use and the less water you use, the more vibrant your colors will be on your page. And I'll just give them a gentle mix. And then I'm just gonna take some string, maybe about 20 or 30 centimeters is enough. And we're gonna start our printing process. So taking that string, picking a color, and just dipping the string into the inky water, making sure that it absorbs a lot of the color. If you don't want to get your hands messy for this, that's okay. You can just wear a pair of washing up gloves. And then really mindfully taking your time, laying the piece of string onto one piece of paper, looping it as you lay it down. You can keep some paper towel handy too, just to dry those fingertips. Then we're going to take our second piece of paper and just place it gently on top, using the palm of your hands to gently press down. And then slowly peeling it back up, should reveal a looping line. Then I'm gonna take the piece of string, just gently dry it off in some paper towel and then pop it into a different coloured ink. Again, making sure it's fully submerged. Gently pulling it out and then laying it down on your piece of paper, looping as you go. And then you just repeat the process. So picking up your second piece of paper, gently placing it on top and pressing down. And then we have our second looping line. So I'm just gonna repeat this process until I'm happy with my result. So I'm just gonna add a second piece of string. Maybe a one that's a little bit longer. And I might use blue for this one. So I'll pop it into my blue. and slowly curling it over itself. And it's starting to take shape. Oops. 
So I'm just going to take my finger and gently trace around the lines that I've created with my ink. They tend to twist and turn and become new colours. And I can see different shapes starting to form. Maybe a treble clef, or a face, a butterfly wing. If you'd like to, and you have some coloured pencils, you can take the coloured pencils and add another layer to your artwork. So I'm going to take this orange and just start to trace the lines with my pencil. And I really like the orange and the green together. So I'm just going to focus on the green lines for now before I choose my next colour. You might also like to look at the shapes that you've created within your lines. So all these negative spaces and start to add some colour to those. So we can see these two artworks together side by side and have a think about which one that you like best. I really like this one because it's really colourful and vibrant. I like the way that the colours contrast against one another and there's different textures that reveal themselves. Thanks so much for joining me in this art making session today inspired by Ildiko Kovacs' Wheels in Motion. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Remember that this video, as well as the worksheet for this activity, is available on the Maitland Regional Art Gallery website at any time.